Kristen Spaniels with Dr. Judy Wolf. Thanks for tuning in at, you know, our very unpredictable, weird times lately. I'll figure out a schedule sooner or later, but right now, eh. So yesterday we had two friends fly in from Chicago to bring us a very special little gift. And um, they just left uh, about 20 minutes ago. So finally getting the chance to sit down at the computer. Uh, but they brought us this. Say hi. That is Forrest. Hi. As in Gump. <laughs> his sister is Jenny and his brother is Bubba. And um, little Forrest was the smallest of the litter. He's the runt. He's got a little bit of a gene deficiency. He's got a little tiny umbilical hernia, no big deal. Um, and uh, has a couple little neurologic problems that just make him a little bit special. Hi. So he needed a special home and since we had just lost Shayna, who was a special pup. We thought, well, why not invite another special pup into the home? So uh, he had a long flight yesterday. Some of you may have seen pictures of him eating his lunch on a piddle pad in the bathroom at the airport. Um, and he did great, but then he got here and he played with everybody and he ran around and he went back and forth to the barn a few times and uh, slept in bed. He's supposed to be Hughes. We'll see how that goes. Um, hey, buddy. Uh, slept in bed next to Hugh. Um, but in the middle of the night, he, well, he didn't eat dinner last night. He absolutely refused to eat dinner. I think he was just overexcited. But then about one o'clock this morning, he started vomiting. Huh, yeah, you. Uh, just clear yellow bile. And you know, when it happens once, you're like, okay, he didn't eat dinner. So I tried to give him a snack. He wouldn't eat a snack. And um, so that kind of went off and on till about 3 a.m. And by the time he was spitting up like a little teaspoon of yellow bile and foam, but I thought, you know what? You're a tiny little, I mean, I don't think he's even five pounds. You're a tiny little dude and vomiting is not good for you. So uh, I got out drugs and he got a little injection of Serenia. I, about 3 a.m. and that totally solved the problem. Then he curled up and went back to sleep with Hugh and slept the rest of the night. Uh, still doesn't want to eat this morning. So if he does not start eating on his own in the next few hours, here, let's do this. Um, if he doesn't start eating on his own in the next few hours, I'll start syringing goat milk into the little dude. I think he's just uh, a little overwhelmed and um, he really likes the other dogs. The only one who is a problem is, oh, so tired, is Gabby. Gabby is the queen bee and she's the only girl now and she's pretty sure that she does not want any competition. Oh, thank you. She doesn't want the competition. So uh, she has put him in his place a few times, but she's just kind of snarfy, but doesn't really do anything. Uh, George and Stewie are fine. He loves Stewie. He thinks Stewie is the best thing since sliced bread. His little mini me. So uh, they're having a very good time. Hugh and I have not met the baby goats yet. Hugh hasn't met his baby goat yet. They are still at Gwen's house. Um, 
I don't think we're gonna have time to get over there today. I'm not sure when, but we are gonna go visit the baby goats because Hugh has to name his baby goat still. Uh, so far we have patches of fireball and I don't know what Hugh is going to name his. Oh, big, oh my goodness, are we exhausted already? We did play some this morning. <laughs> and uh, when um, Connie asked if I would take this puppy, she said, well, when's the last time you had a puppy that you had to raise? 1999. That was a long time ago. I haven't done puppies in a long time. Hugh's had a puppy since I have. Um, haven't had a puppy in a really long time. So this will be exciting. Uh, so far, yeah, this is Forrest, and so far he's very good about going outside. He follows the other dogs. He does what they do. Um, so I just got to get him eating. So because he's a little tiny pipsqueak. Uh, so. <laughs> he'll come around and he, he's great with the cats. He thinks that they're fine, but he doesn't chase them and they've been rubbing on him. He rubs on them and Hugh definitely needs to come see his goat. Yeah, well, Hugh's going to come see his goat as soon as we have time. Um, so, yes, you'll be seeing more of this little dude and lots of pictures because he's pretty photogenic and freaking adorable. <coughs> like, how do, you, how do you resist that face? Uh, so, Connie and Beth flew out together. I had a great time. Beth is a... Uh, ICU pulmonologist, so what a wealth of information. Uh, we had a great time yakking about work and being doctors and the stresses and retirement versus still working. <laughs> it was a, a fun interaction. And of course, Hugh did his usual and cooked incredible meals. Um, so kind of a fun couple of days. Alrighty, uh, we I have a lot to do. I have a consult catch up today because I missed last week. Um, and we're still unpacking. Yes, we are still unpacking. And uh, I'm gonna start moving into the warehouse sometime soon. So more to do. Um, so everybody have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow, Lord knows what time. <laughs> sometime in the morning, I think. <laughs> Life's a little nutty. Where are you going, little man? Let's see if we can get some music for folks. While wow, you're being adorable. Welcome. Okay. You. Oh. You have all legs. Come on, legs. Oh. Oh. Come on, wiggly. There you go. There you go. Be your adorable self. That's all you have to do. It's a tough job. Really tough job. You see where we're dad going. Where's dad going? It's supposed to be Hughes puppy. I don't know why I'm holding the puppy. He's looking at your daddy, though. Bye bye. Gotta switch hands, buddy. Bye, folks.